What's going on guys? Today we're going to go over a modern house style. So in this overview, we're going to take a look at a sketch and a few diagrams. We're going to do a facade study to see the balance of materials. Then we're going to take a closer look at the details of my design. We're going to look at some characteristics of a modern style. And then we're going to look at some final renderings. Alright, let's get into it. So in the design, there's these two main horizontal features here. And this one's intersected by a vertical feature here. And then this piece connects these two other pieces, but also creates a break in the facade. And then on the second floor, we have floor to ceiling glass windows. On the first floor, I have these very slim vertical windows. And then over here, we have the front porch with the front door here. And then to the right of the door, there's going to be a screen of wood. And this will create some shading for the front porch. And then this bridge piece will also be horizontal wood. And then we have this paneling system here where these windows are. So I'm going to use a sharpie here to make the main lines of the facade more bold to make them stand out. So taking a look at a more conceptual diagram, there's these main two horizontal pieces that stack on top of each other. And then there's this one vertical piece to the left that kind of cuts it off. So let's take a look at a simple facade study for this house. So we have white paneling on the second floor here. We have these concrete elements spaced out. We have gray paneling. Wood on the second floor and also on the first floor where the porch is. And we have glass spaced out here. Now before you get into the nitty gritty details, for me I usually do a quick diagram like this and do a few facade studies. And this helps me understand the balance of materials throughout the whole composition. Okay, so taking a look at the front facade again, we can see that the main grid lines are these right here. And I wanted to make these very apparent in the design. So these two white horizontal volumes sort of click into this middle bridge piece. And this middle bridge piece is made out of the horizontal wood. And you can see the difference in height from the wood piece to the white pieces. And this creates a sort of separated look that I was going for. Then we have a wood screen for the front porch here. And then also on the carport side, we have a wood screen again. Then we have this main vertical element of concrete and also concrete to the right as well. And then on the first floor, we have this paneling system, and we're gonna take a look into the materials in a second. Then we have the driveway here, which is sort of like a block system. Then we have a beach walkway to the left. So when we look at the characteristics of the design, we see these slim vertical windows here, and we're gonna go into detail in the design of these in a little bit. Then we have floor to ceiling glass on the second floor, and this is a very common feature in modern homes. This allows for a lot of natural light to come in, as well as create a very simplistic design on the outside. And when you have a house on the water like this, you really want to capture the views as much as you can. And then like I said, I have a horizontal wood screen on the front porch here to create some shading. A flat roof is almost a given in any modern design. Uh, we have the exposed concrete here. And exposed concrete is a very common feature in modern design as well. And then strong horizontal and vertical geometry is very common as well. And you can see the cantilevers here all along the house. This is also a common feature. And if you don't know, a cantilever is when the second floor overhangs the first floor. And then I have the paneling system here on the first floor. So taking a look at the materials, we have the white seamless paneling on the second floor to create those white volumes. We have aluminum composite paneling on the first story. And then we have the light gray wood horizontal pieces. Then we have the concrete pieces, which is that vertical element and then the piece to the right. And then the glass has a slight blue tint with black frames. Okay, so taking a closer look at the windows here on the first floor, you can see that every line in the facade is extremely important and plays a big role in the actual window. And in modern design, every detail matters. Every line has to add up. Every line has to, you know, come together. So once we find the window height that we want to use, we then know the height of the panels that we need. These panels could have been separated into a larger format, but then these sort of angle pieces on the top and bottom they wouldn't be the proportion that I was looking for. So it ended up being three panels for the window and then one panel for each of these angle pieces on the top and bottom. So we can see here, this is the size of one panel. And then we have these lines from the bottom to the top. And then we also have this line going vertical. And that's where the window starts. And when you have a window that is inset like this, you create a shadow line. And this can help in sunny areas in the house. And you could also see here that the cantilever pieces from the second story actually create shadow lines onto the first story. And this will help lessen the amount of sun that comes into the actual house. And then on the second floor, I created this small detail in the corner here. When you look at the design head on, it just looks like an angle. But if you look at it from a side view, it creates a three dimensional shape that's kind of cool. And this angle here sort of plays off the angle from the first floor windows. 
Yeah, so that's the design overview for this modern house. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And if you guys wanna help me get my video out to more people, hit that like button, it really helps me out. And some people were asking me what mouse I use. I use the MX Master Logitech. I'll put it in my description if you guys are interested. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.